Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, before we get underway right here in this video here, um, I, I first I'd like to thank for everyone who out there for your wonderful condolences for my wife. And I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful fellas. I really am. I, I never been so touched my whole entire life. And you people really touched a good spot in my heart because I'm going to stay there. And uh, the good Lord knows I must go on, and I will go on. Right now, as you can tell, that I'm out of the man cave into uh, one of my living rooms in my house. And to keep myself occupied, I'm gonna, the shelves behind me, I'm gonna have shelves up there, and I have all my model ships up there and everything in here. And uh, so, back there, I'm tearing down out there and trying to do some rebuilding. Back there, make a nice big uh, family room back there or something, and move all my stuff in here. And I got all my stuff down below in, in the in the Boston locker. So I've got a lot. Uh, I got a lot of work and a lot of things going to keep me going, keep me uh, keep my mind going, fellas. So I don't have to dwell and about my wife. You know, it's. I think the biggest thing about it is just just loneliness, as you can see. I'm only once here. And uh, so primarily we got the video for tonight, it would be video 10 on the Dave Mather dedication build of the Norwegian Lion, the Norse Club. Uh, lots of going on this thing guys since uh, I posted the last video about, what, about six months ago I presume? Yeah, about six months back. So I've been on this thing pretty steadily and I got a lot more room here to work on this thing. I got some of my power tools behind me to keep me going. And uh, we can make a little sneak preview on this a little bit, and I'll show you how much old Frankie Day's got done in the Norse Club, the Norwegian Lion by Belling Boats. There she is right over here. I got all the cannons on there. Of course, they were there before. I got the shutter bays on there. The, the, uh, the shields and the shutter bays all got to be painted gold on there. So I got the special Vallejo gold, which is very good paint. This is a very, very good gold color. Matter of fact, uh, this paint here from Alex Models, uh, he introduced this color. He said this is about the best gold I've ever used. Well, since it's made out of wood and, pla and the only thing that's plastic on the same is these, are these shutter bays right here. That's all there is. So Vallejo Paints is always plastic and wood too. So th they say this is very good gold. It's uh, number uh, 7099. Six gold. I think you can read the caption right on top of the bottom right there. If you got this in your paint locker, use it. It's good stuff. Normally for years and generations of years, good stuff from boyhood to now, I've always used the old testers kind. It's always, this is good stuff too, but this this seems to uh, oxidize due to lust, but opposed to this here, the, 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 lust, the luster remains the same. Okay, as we uh, the inspection of this bad girl right here. I'll open up all the the shutter bays, the gun bays where the cannons come through. You can see on the starboard side all the gun cartridges that are on the 32 pounders. And I've got all my bulkheads back here. Separation for the uh, Mamus in the belaying bench and as we work aft the same was done here same results i did all this i tuned up all the railings up here i made special fittings by hand all these fittings like this i made all these all these uh, decoration pieces that we use on the thing and i got the rail Act on the poop deck, and I cut out the uh, the blank bitch. Now I want to tell you something. Here's a tip, fellas. Anybody dealing with these old billing kits, always this is mahogany wood right here. This is all mahogany, and it's very very hard wood, and it splits. I mean, it splits. To prevent this wood from splitting is when you're cutting parts out using an number 11 blade, always do this. Oh. 
on the back of it, always put glue paper on the back of it. That way, it keeps everything together. This gets ancient, this ancient way of doing things. I made all the uh, blank bench stanchions. I carved these out using all the plans. I got to paint all these shutter bays. Gold right here. They got lion shields on here. And uh, so right now I'm working aft. I'm going to get the blank bench done aft on the mizzen mist. Have paint the same. I got to drill some holes through here. Put my fittings, got the cleats on here. The next, I'm going to go ahead at the bow. I'm going to put the uh, the trail boards, which is right here, which I cut out. And uh, they'll be um, glued all the way in front for the hoslet plate, all the way up to your night heads, and through here to your trail boards, your trail board cloths right here. Go see there, get that done. Well, that's all finished. Then uh, I'll go aft to work on the stern galleries, and all these stern galleries right here got to be all got to be all carved out. They give you blocks of wood. And all the stuff here you got to cut out. You got to cut out all the stuff here. Then you got to take a Dremel tool with a router with a with a with a carving tool and carve these out, these decoration pieces. So that's a lot of work right there. I'm pretty good at carving things out. So with modern day tools, a good Dremel tool, and an engraving bit, I can be able to have this thing done in a snap with, with stern galleries. And I gotta make ladders this too. I gotta make uh, two, three, four, five, eight, about eight ladders I gotta make. So I got to construct those first before I go ahead and put the trail boards on up forward and start working out. So that's about as far as I got on this bad girl, fellas. I've been on this thing pretty much lately. Like I say, a lot was going on in this thing since uh, six months ago. And... Uh, so as far as I got on this thing, this is a good model, guys. Uh, this kit's ancient. Let's think this is a like, this is a '70s kit. I had one before, just like this, same era, same construction, same everything. And they got uh, pretty well busted up. I took a loss on it. So this one here is gonna sit nicely in my wall behind me in the living room. That'll be a nice case with pedestals on there. So that's the conclusion of video 10 for the Norse Love. Also started this anchor. I got this anchor all carved out. And uh, all wood, guys. Things all wood. I made a mistake on the uh, Isabella by Stash Gallion. I went ahead and and uh, bar put too much varnish on it. The reason why I did that, guys, because that wood was falling apart in that kit. That kit was over 50 years old, and it's just uh, the wood. It's about these Billings kits, guys, and that's why I say you get these old kits back in the 70s and 60s. You got to be built immediately because you don't. These things will just disintegrate, and you got nothing but a set of plans and a bunch of wood. And uh, this kit's still available by Billings. It's very expensive. It's about a $500 kit. It's all been redesigned. This thing is nothing but old. This is old school LR billing kit that he uh, that he did. And uh, matter of fact, I got the old Billings catalog right here. Like I show you guys why I'm on the subject of the North Club. bought this catalog back in 1977. This catalog 
is that the same year this kit came out. And it shows you real interesting catalog. You know, I wouldn't mind going with you guys with this thing. Here's Mr. Billings right here. This is the man designed this kit. Right behind him is the North Slab right here. The one I'm working on. This little fella right here. If anybody gets the new Billings kit to see a fella with glasses on, that's him right here. That shows you how old this thing is. Here's the shop they got. All in Denmark right here. And they uh, give you a breakdown of the catalog, the, the, the kits, the fittings, how it is. It's a beautiful kit. For the day, these things were very beautiful kits. These were state of art kits back in, those, back in the 60s and 70s. But nowadays, they got new kits out there that make these things stink. There's one thing Mr. Billings had. He was like Walt Disney. Instead of having a Disneyland, they call it Billing Boat Land. And all these Billing Boat Lands, they got little villages. You cruise around these little swan like things here and these little tram trains. And they got little villages with scale models as big as the North Slope. Right there, you can see along the bank. Little villages like this in here. Very, you don't see stuff like this in America. Only there. Okay, this is the beginning of the catalog here. This is the North Slope. This is what I'm building now. This is what she's going to look like when I get finished. This is the Isabella. This is, I did 20 videos on this. And uh, she's finished. She's sitting in my living room over here behind me. And that one came out very nice. This is the one I put too much varnish on. But I did it on purpose, guys, to keep the wood in the circle. It was very old wood. Uh, this kit's not, not available no more. They got a lot of other kits in here. They've got the Seattler, the Gemman. I got the Kite Sark, I have that kit in my stash. I got the Denmark right over there behind the Norsky Lab, as you can see it. I work on her too, back to back. What I'm trying to do, fellas, is finish up all these all these bills I got started so I get them done. So I get more bills on the way. And here's more, a lot of Dan, that's a very nice kit. All, most of these kits are available. This is not available no more. Some of them they just don't do anymore. And uh, very beautiful stuff. Nice catalog. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a good catalog. 1977 issue. Came with the same thing, the same era. This kid is. Okay, guys. I think that's about it for this evening. I'm going to probably do some more work on my North Slab tonight, do some more painting on her. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little work on her and keep her going. Put the hay here. Hang over the cat head. There you go. Let gravity prevail. Anyway, that's about it for tonight, fellas. I'd like to thank everybody out there for your wonderful condolences for my missus. And uh, like I say, you know, she passed away right behind me. And uh, I kind of stayed in this room, so I, but I think in my mind that she's here with me. She, I think she is. And she, and she likes me being here with her and in here. So that's what I'm going to be, guys. I'm going to put all the models in here, put across the wall, and do a lot of, a lot of knuckle stuff I'm going to have here. It's going to really grow. You guys really like this. And it's going to be a change for me. My life's going to change. And uh, everything's going to change. But I'm here for a purpose. And my purpose in your life is to enjoy life and to be with my wonderful modeling community family that I love very much and care very much. And build more models to show you. And uh, so I got a lot of stuff coming, guys. I'm kind of true blue a little bit, but blue this will it'll eventually, with God's help, you know, he'll he'll pull me out of this, and I'll be okay. I think the best therapy that's really working for me is my model building. It really does. It's, it's it just makes time just go by, and then I'm doing a lot of things too. You know, it keeps me busy, and 
I'm not the sitting sitting down kind of a fella, you know. All the time I sit down to build models, but I'm mostly on my dogs all day long working. Uh, between my job and you knowing taking care of myself and working on models, so I'll break the days doing pretty good. And I got my music too I'm doing. So that's another wonderful thing I'm doing. I'm playing music in church now and and uh, play music at the club I go to every Thursday night. So I'm doing quite well for myself now. And God, uh, he watches over me. I know he does. I'm very grateful that a man my age can still do things like he did years past. And be with you great fellas. I really love you guys. Stu, thank you very much for that video. I mean, I, I really cried my eyes out when you made that video for me, you know? I mean, that was wonderful. You got a very warm heart, sir. I love you very much. You're a great man. I wish I was in England with you. I'd, I'd be there with you all the time, being your buddy and everything. And uh, you can show me some nice places out there. I'd love to live there. And uh, so much to do in life. What's left in my years? And I'm not going to waste them. Okay, guys, that's about it for this night. And uh, so this is the conclusion of video 10 for Dave Mather, North Glove, dedication build. That was video 10. Number 11, I should have had the trail boards all done, starting on the stern galleries. Be very interesting, very. So I got that coming away, should have that about a week from now. So after I get things uh, situated, there'll be more videos coming. Uh, get, then pretty soon I'll start getting these things wiped out in no time. I'll be on that B24 and that B25. And I got a lot of stuff coming your way, fellas. I mean, a lot of stuff. Okay, thank you very much for your wonderful condolences and your comments. I'm very honored each one of you. I love you guys very much. You guys are very wonderful people. Always make your mama happy. Make mama happy. Take care of your wife. Take care of your kids. Stay focused when you drive. Spend wisely. And build models. Because we got winter coming up. What else could be better than winter months? Billy models. It's like super sandwiches. It goes together very well. This is Frankie Day signing up for Frankie Day Models. God bless you guys. We'll catch you on video 11 on the Norse Club. Come your way. I'll be posting some pictures on YouTube on here, on uh, Facebook pages too. And uh, you look there too if you wish. Okay, I'm out of here, fellas. God love you guys. Bless your hearts. I love you, fellas.